children hello good morning to all of you and in today's lesson we are going to revise the same lesson of my previous video the ailing planet the great movements role written by nana nani parthiwala so children let me revise the, all the important points of the lesson and before that i welcome you all to my english class so the green movement is started nearly 25 years ago so children the green movement what do you mean by green movement that mean not to cut trees we must take care of our earth okay we must not uh, be responsible for the pollution which we are spreading and we should nurture the earth as the earth is also nurturing us so this the green movement is started nearly 25 years ago the world first nation wide green party was founded in new zealand so children for the first time the green party was there found in new zealand in 1972 since then the movement has not looked back and children after that the people of that related with that movement they are moving ahead they have never looked back in fact no other movement in world history has excited human race so much as the green movement children the fact is that till now no other movement in the world has excited so much all the human beings as this green movement and the excited human race so much as the green movement till now no other movement had excited a human race for the first time there is a growing awareness that the earth itself is a living uh, organism so children for the first time children uh, there it is a, a growing awareness there is there among the people that our earth is a, like is not a non living thing but they are taking it as a living organism and it has its own metabolic needs and essential processes and children the earth has its own metabolic need and essential process the sign pertaining to the earth life shows a patient in declining health now children in this lesson the main thing is this whatever the sign which is proclaimed by the earth which is shown by the earth it is showing that the earth health is declining it is not very healthy the earth health is declining people have now fully resigned their moral duty to be good custodians of the planet now children it is the it is part of our duty not to make our earth ill how by not throwing chemicals by not cutting trees so many are there in fact directly or indirectly it is we human being we are responsible for the ill health of ill health of our mother earth and responsible trustees of the legacy to future generation so children it is our moral duty to be a good health uh, health care we should be taking care of the health of our planet and we should be responsible uh, of of this legacy still in our future generation also we should teach our future generation also to take care of the health of the mother earth the world commission on environment and development popularized popularized the concept of uh, sustainable development in 1987 it defined the idea as a development that meets the need of the present without endangering the ability of future generation to meet their needs man is the most dangerous animal in the world now children according to one one of the zoo children a cage is there in that cage a mirror is kept and it uh, if uh, they in the mirror uh, you will see your own reflection that means children we are our reflection is representing the whole repair, uh, human race and children it has been told there that it is uh, it is the man it is the man who is the most dangerous animal now he has realized the wisdom of shifting from a system based on domination to one based on partnership scientists have arranged list of 1.4 million living species on earth beside man about 3 to 100 million other living species is still stay unnamed in humiliating the darkness the branded commission was the first international commission to deal with the question of ecology 
an environment so children the brand commission was the first international commission to deal with the question of ecology and environment the first branded report raised the question whether we were to leave our successor a dried earth of increasing desert poor landscape and ailing environment now children it was asked to us that what type of earth we are going to present to our future generation okay is it a dried earth of increasing desert poor landscapes and ailing environment mr leisure r brown has listed earth four main his uh, biological system so children it was mr brown who has given the four names of earth fourth main biological system and children what are these these are fisheries first second is forest third is grassland and the fourth is cropland they form the basis of the world economic system they supply us food and raw materials for industries in large area of the world these system are reaching unsustainable reason so children day, day by day the reason the uh, they are reaching to the point of a status sustainable level their quality is becoming low the productivity is being damaged and children the productivity of fisheries cropland grassland and forest it is being damaged by us only every day day to day when this happen fisheries break down forest children when this will be happening like that have you ever thought of a result no so let me tell you about the result children fisheries are breaking down forest are disappearing grassland are changed into barren wasteland and cropland become worse okay over fishing is common in protein hungry world children fish is a main source of uh, protein so it is common in protein hungry world in pro poor countries local forests are destroyed to obtain fuel for cooking tropical forests are wearing away at the rate of 40 to 50 million acres a year the growing use of dung for burning deprives the soil of an important natural fertilizers over the last four decades india forest have reached disastrous exhaustion India is losing its forests at the rate of 3.7 million acres a year large area officially named forest land are almost treeless a un study warns that the environment has deteriorated quite hardly in many of the 88 countries investigated the growth of world population is one of the strongest factor distorting the future of human society so children population of course uh, the the growth of world population is one of the stronger factors distorting the future of human society mankind reached the first billion mark in more than a million year that was the world population in the year 1800 by the year 1900 a second billion was added the 20th century was added and the 3.7 billion the present world population is estimated at 5.7 billion every 4 days the world population increases by 1 million fertility falls as income rises so children as income rises fertility falls education is spread and health improve so let education is spreading but the health improves development is the best contraceptive however development may not be possible if population grows on increasing at this rate the population of india is estimated to be 920 million in 1994 it is more than the entire population of africa and south america put together unless population control is given up most priority the hope of the people would die in their hungry hearts means there is no there is no alternative to voluntary family planning without an element of coercion 
the choice is really between control of population and continuation of poverty we notice a surprising concern people are worried not only about their own survival but that of the planet as well people have begun to take an overall view of the very basis of life the environment problem in our passport for the future a new world vision has emerged it has on assured in the era of responsibility it is holistic view an ecological view we now see the world as an integrated whole rather than separate parts industries have a very important role to play in this new era of responsibility leading businessmen should excel in environmental performance then they can control to exist as a leading manufacturers the words of margaret thatcher are used frequently she remarked no generation has a free hold on this earth all we have is a life tenancy with a full repairing lease mr laser brown the author of the global economic prospect rightly observed we have not inherited this earth from our forefather we have borrowed it from our children okay so children this is the main uh, background of the lesson and i would like to tell you something more about this lesson okay here nani palki wala the well known lawyer is uh, his this article actually appeared in the newspaper the indian express on 24th november 1994 and uh, he children he is talking he is giving his view on the ecological situation of the earth and he is telling that our earth is uh, its health is declining day by day and we should take care of it okay um that children here again few of the important things which i would like to share with you the green movement started in 1972 the world first nationwide green party was formed in new zealand since then the movement has gripped the imagination of the huma, entire human race many people were influenced by this race okay so copernicus taught us that the earth and the other planet revolves around the sun similarly the green movement has brought the idea that earth is living organism we have moved towards a holistic and ecological view of the world the earth vital sign reveals a patient in decline health so children what he, the it has been found that they have compared earth to a patient which is declining its health human have realized their ethological obligation to protect and preserve the need of the planet now children it is we human being we have realized that the earth mother earth is get, go, getting ill it health is affected and learn we should protect and preserve the need of the planet now the there is a concept of sustainable development okay the costing concept of sustainable development was popularized in 1987 by the world commission on environmental and development okay it is stressed the idea of development that meets the needs of the of the present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their need it means that we should pursue development for our present need but we should be careful about the need of the future generation as well in the zoo at lusaka zambia there is a cage where the notice reads the world most dangerous animal inside the cage there is a mirror in which we see our reflection with the continuous and sustained effort of a number of agencies in different countries the human being are realizing that they should not dominate the earth but to respect her as a partner so children we should not dominate our earth we should respect her as if she is it is our she is our partner the brand commission was one of the first children international commission which deals with the question of ecology and environment of the earth 
an indian mr l k jha was a member of this commission the first brand report raised the question are we to leave our successor a planet of advancing deserts impoverished landscape and ailing environment mr lesser r brown in his book the global economic prospect he has written a book and the name of the book is the global economic prospect points out our four major biological system and just now i have discussed also fisheries uh, forest grassland and children uh, mm, cropland these four are the foundation of the global economic system besides providing us food they provide nearly all the raw material for the industries human claim on this system are becoming unsustainable and thus their productivity is being impaired this had led to drastic results several species are being is extinct due to such destruction you can so many species like you can see uh, bear hippopotamus uh, lion so children they are being is uh, extinct due to such destruction forests precede mankind deserts follow the ancient party money of tropical forest is now ending at the rate of 40 or 50 million acre the world bank estimate that a five fold increase in the rate of forest planting is needed to cope with the expect fuel wood demand in the year 2000 james spell the president of the world resources institute revealed a very alarming statistic that we are losing the forest at an acre and a half a second article 48 ke of the indian constitution states that it is the duty of the state to make effort to improve the environment and safeguard the forest and wildlife of the country unfortunately laws are never respected nor enforced in india large area officially designated as forest land are virtually treeless now children the uh, then the in this chapter further it is uh, discussed about the menace of overpopulation the growth of world population is one of the strongest factor factor overshadowing the future every four days the world population increases by 1 million the population of india is more than the entire population of africa and south america together more children do not mean more workers it merely means more people without work the only solution to this is voluntary family planning era of responsibility is the next point here slowly but steadily people are understanding the concept that the entire world should be treated as an integrated whole rather than a collection of separate parts for sustainable development of the world everyone has to play his role even the industries margaret thatcher and lesser brown suggested that earth is not our property it passes from one generation to another with the hope that each generation will take care of it so as to pass it on to the next with its resources in tact mr brown has put this thought very beautifully he said we have not inherited this earth from our forefather we have borrowed it from our children okay so children so now children i am going to uh, start doing the explanation of the lesson so children the alien planet the green movement role written by nani palkiwala now some of the expression are written here and after that i am going to read the lesson the following article was written by nani palkiwala and published in the indian express on 24th november 1994 so children this uh, article it was uh, written in on 24th november 
1994 and it was first printed in the Indian Express written by Nani Parkiwara. So this uh, it, this children chapter came in the form of the article. The issues that uh, he raised regarding the declining health of the earth continues to have relevance. Now, children, why it was considered as an important part of the um, newspaper? Because, children, somebody has raised issue regarding the declining health. In this, the, uh, it was declared that earth health is declining day by day and we should take care of that health. We, one cannot recall any movement in world history which has gripped the imagination of the entire human race. So children, recall means remember. So I am writing the word meaning also. Recall means remember. And children, one word is there. Grip. Grip means control. So these are the two new words. Grip means control and recall means remember. Okay. In 1972, the world first nationwide Green Party was founded in New Zealand. Since then, the movement, the, the first nationwide Green Party was found in New Zealand. Since then, the movement has not looked back. So, children, for the first time in 1972, the Green Party was the Green Party was found in New Zealand in 1972, and since then, children, it has not looked back. It is moving for forward, and lot of children ecological and environmental uh, studies are going on. So, one cannot recall any movement. So, children, no uh, movement has become so famous as children like the Green Movement. And children, this is started in uh, the year, nine, 25 years ago, in 1972. The world first nationwide Green Party was there in New Zealand. Since then, the movement has not looked back. We have shifted one hopes in vocabulary. So, children, one hope is there. Uh, it is not changed anymore. So, what is the meaning of this is a new word? Ir revocably. Irrevocably means unchangeably. Unchangeably. So, irrevocably means unchangeably from the mechanistic view to a holistic and ecological view of the world. So children, we have not shifted till then. One hope is to, was still not changed. And what was that? From the mechanistic view, mechanistic is just like machine, to a holistic and ecological view. Holistic is complete and comprehensive view. So what is the meaning of holistic? It is complete and holistic view and ecological view connected with the uh, relation of the planet and living creature. It is a shift in human perception. What is the meaning of perception children here? Perception here means knowledge. So children, it is a, it is a shift in human knowledge as revolutionary as introduced by Copernicus who taught mankind in the 16th century that the earth and the other planets revolve around the sun. Children, it is as important as which was taught to us by Copernicus. What Copernicus has taught us? He has taught us that children, that the earth and the other planet, they revolve around the sun. So this is as important as the is there what Copernicus has told us. He had told us that uh, we have one hope is not changing, um, that we have the, our mechanical view, point of view to a holistic and ecological view of the world has not changed. It is a shift in human perception as revolutionary as introduced by Copernicus who taught mankind in the 16th century that the earth and the other planets revolves around the sun. For the first time in human history, there is a growing worldwide consciousness that the earth is still itself is a living organism. So children, for the first time in the world, 
it was declared that the earth is like a living organism okay um, this has become as famous as the theory of copernicus what was the theory of copernicus the theory of copernicus was that uh, that the earth that the earth and the other planet is revolving around the sun so this fact children it was a very important fact and everybody considered that fact suddenly children like that this was an also important discovery that earth is like a living organism and and it has is a living organism an enormous being of which we are part and children it is a very enormous thing being okay it is an enormous being and we are the parts of the earth it has its own metabolic needs what is a metabolic need children chemical process of living things so children it has got its own metabolic needs the earth has its own metabolic need and we are the part of the world when which needs to be and children it this uh, earth it is like a living organism and we have to respect and preserve our mother earth we have to respect it and children we have to preserve our mother earth the earth vital signs reveal patient is declining health so children the earth vital sign reveals patient in declining health we have begun to realize our ethical obligation ethical is moral obligation is duty so 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 many word meaning we have to write okay and so few difficult word some of the difficult word meaning children i am going to write it now now metabolic needs are the chemical chemical process of a living thing so first difficult word is meta bolic needs is a chemical process of a living things okay so this is the first word meaning i think you all should note it down and then children vital earth's vital sign means very necessary children earth vital sign is very necessary sign of Earth. Okay. Then children, few more words. Ethical is moral and obligations is duty. So children, ethical is moral. And obligations means. so children these are some of the new words which i have written on the board you have to learn this word otherwise you won't be able to understand this lesson the earth vital signs reveals patient in declining her children the all the important sign which is uh, revealed by the earth it is showing as if is uh, proving that as if it is like a patient and day by day the health of the earth is being declined we have begun to realize our ethical obligation to be good stewards of the planet okay and children now this is this has become our moral duty it has become ethical obligation what do you mean by ethical obligation ethical obligation is that children it is now it is our moral duty that we should take care of earth we should treat it as a, a living organism we should take care of its health and children we should take care of all the we should not destroy our environment okay environment and development in its report to define the idea as development that meets the need of the present without compromising the ability of future generation 
so children we should not destroy our planet and we should be responsible trustee of the legacy legacy is legal heritage this is a new word legacy means legal heritage okay so children they say um, legacy to future generation and responsible trustees of the legacy to our future generation now children this is a, a bit uh, very uh, ecological terms are there so yeah, we have to note down whatever the word meaning i am teaching you and then only children you will be able to learn your lesson with this i complete this video today and in my next video we will be continuing our lesson thank you and have a nice day ahead